Thanks, Matt. Uh, I want to ask about Aaron Bushnell, uh, the 25-year-old active duty uh, airman who uh, self-immolated in front of the Israeli embassy on Sunday, um, especially since it didn't come up during yesterday's briefing. Uh, I know you released a statement uh, extending your condolences to his family, uh, but I want to ask if you have anything to comment beyond that. Uh, specifically, I want to ask, uh, will U.S. policy uh, in, in any way be changed or affected by what happened on Sunday? So, again, I just want to reiterate our, here our deepest condolences to his family. It's obviously a horrific situation, and uh, our most heartfelt sympathies go out to them. Um, with respect to this act or any kind of protest, obviously we are aware of the depth of feelings that people have over this issue. And we are constantly taking those, those points of view into account and using them to think about how we approach the issue, issue and whether there, is, there are things that we can do differently. That is the case whether it's with respect to protesters. It is the case with respect to people that the secretary meets with and hears from directly on all sides of this issue. So yes, we will always look at uh, the points of view that people have, and ulti but ultimately we have to make our own decisions based on what we think is in the national security interests of the United States, and we'll continue to do that. So, so will U.S. policy be affected, uh, yes or no? I, I, I that's, I, the, I want again, just, I, I don't think I should, I should comment with regard to this specific case other than extending my sympathies to his family. As I said, generally, we are always looking at the strongly held views by, by people across the spectrum. And I guarantee you, we do hear from people across the spectrum who want us to do one thing differently, whether it comes from, uh, from uh, stopping support for Israel to supporting Israel more. And we hear loudly from people uh, about this issue. We have to make the best decisions we can about national security interests. And right now, we believe the best thing that we can do is to continue to pursue a temporary ceasefire that would get the hostages out and alleviate the suffering of the Palestinian people.